Good old John Huber. He's the father of Anthony Huber, who was shot by Kyle Rittenhouse in August 2020 during the Kenosha riots. John Huber, who's not exactly a big fan of courtroom decorum, is also apparently not a big fan of being a really good, loving father. That's for another day. But in the meantime, I'm going to play an interview here he had on WISN-TV, and we're going to make some fun of him. And why? Because I think the man is a total scumbag. And before you guys get mad at me, telling me about a grieving father, I'm saying I'm not sure that that story is going to hold up. Hello out there. I am trying to get through. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. We, we do recognize this is an incredibly difficult and emotional time for you. How are you and your family doing this morning? Uh, good morning. Uh, we're, we're doing okay. <laughs> uh, we're doing okay. I mean, the, the interviewer must have been thinking, oh, come on, this is going to be terrible. I think that interviewing people like David Bowie is going to probably be easier than trying to get anything out of this dude. You were not in the courtroom during the trial because the videos and testimony were so overwhelming. You said you just couldn't be there. You couldn't see all that. But what was your personal reaction when the verdict was read? We were, we were shocked. We, we relived his death all over again. That moment. Anything else? Now, you said that in a statement that there's been no justice or accountability for the death of your son. What message do you think this verdict sends? That it's, uh, it's okay for 17-year-olds to walk around with AR-15s. <laughs> and it is. <laughs> he could have said so much there. Looking at it from his standpoint, remember, he's got a lawsuit coming, and he could have weighed in on, you know, kids shooting protesters and all that stuff, quelling free speech, terrorizing people because of their opinions. And what does he come with? Well, the message is that kids can walk around with AR-15 rifles, which they can. <laughs> I tell you, the interviewer has to have been just beside himself. And he's thinking, oh my God, who's up next? Is there some way that we can just fast forward to the next person? Do you, and do you worry about how this is read across the country? I, I just want to make something clear. And I understand that this is a very emotional time for you. You know, the jury did side with Rittenhouse. <laughs> Um, in his claim of self-defense, that he felt that his life was threatened and that he did not, uh, in their verdict, uh, he did not um, believe that, uh, or he was not provoking uh, the incident. That's, that's how the verdict came through. It wow, what a slap. He's saying, hey, it looks to me like the jury said that Kyle's on the right side of things here. I mean, that's an affront. It's going to have to provoke an angry outburst from John, right? He's going to come back in with his major points. This is simply not true. Here's why. Bingity, 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 bingity. We'll see how he does. Is that enough for you? Can, can you accept that? No. No. No, that, that kid turned and mowed that guy down with his rifle. He mowed him down, and people saw that. And they witnessed that, and they tried to stop him. What about how you... <laughs> Never mind the fact that the jury saw it, too. Uh, you're right. The people saw that. The jury saw it as well. And guess what? They exonerated Kyle Rittenhouse. Why? That's what you were supposed to go on. Why was this an unjust verdict? your son Anthony was portrayed during the trial that's that's ridiculous it's ridiculous what they do and the and the levels that they stoop to they should be ashamed of themselves for what Anthony Huber's criminal background was never even introduced into the trial they could have laid into him well the judge said 
It's not relevant, and it wasn't. However, I don't recall much from the trial blasting Anthony Huber's background or who he was or anything. In fact, I thought the judge was pretty even-handed here. Anthony's criminal background, which is vast, was never even discussed. I just want to circle back to um, the first question. Um... <laughs> I want to go back to the question I asked you at the start that you didn't really respond to much. How I, I know is your, your response was very brief, but I just want to get a sense of it. Clearly, you're, you're frustrated, you're angry, um, but how are you and your family doing this morning? How are you absorbing um, the weight of the verdict from yesterday? I, I'm speaking for all of us. I, I think we're all just in shock. <laughs> he goes back, we're in shock. Well, that was what you said the first time. That wasn't good enough. I go back to the question, hoping that you would at least expound a little on what you were saying. And he comes back and says, we were shocked. Did not expect this. This was, uh, this was just adding insult to injury. You say that your fight to hold those responsible for Anthony's death, hold those accountable, is not over. So what, what's next for you? All right. Now he's going to talk about what? The lawsuits that are coming. He's going to make Kyle pay, right? Well, let's see what he says. It's, it's not over. We, there's no closure here. There's no closure. We, we wanted to go on and, and start the grieving process. We can't even grieve. Wait, you want to start the grieving process? You haven't started yet? You haven't started grieving for your son? Hmm. You see, closure is supposed to be a way to overcome the grieving. In other words, to sort of flatten the grieving out a little bit. Um, the grieving is supposed to come before the closure, not after. So what you're saying is, well, up until now, we just didn't really give a shit. But uh, once we find closure, then we'll start to care. John Huber, um, you know, our, our thoughts go out to you and your family during this difficult time. We thank you for uh, joining us and speaking with us this morning. Coming up next, talking about John Huber's background. How much of a loving father was he really? Does he have a chance of winning his case against Kyle Rittenhouse? Stay tuned. Like my video and subscribe to my channel. And I mean, like, like my video and subscribe to my channel. I mean, do it. Come on, guys.